I have dropped the fuel tank. We had to drop the exhaust system to drop the fuel tank. So the exhaust system had to come down before we could remove the fuel tank. Here is our fuel tank. This is the new fuel pump that I got from uh, Ford. Here's the part number. Okay, so this is what we're gonna install. So now we're gonna clean up the tank Alright, so now I'm going to start to disconnect these fuel lines here. All right, so we got the fuel tubes disconnected and the fuel pump wiring disconnected. So now we're gonna undo this ring so we can remove the fuel pump assembly. We have to tap this counterclockwise. So just like that. So here comes our fuel pump assembly. There's a tube over here that I have to disconnect. So just like that. So now our fuel pump assembly is gonna come out. It looks like there's another tube down here that I have to disconnect. So here comes our fuel pump assembly. So this is the bad unit. I'm gonna get it out of the way. So the regulator should be somewhere in here. Now I'm not gonna worry about removing it and trying to figure out if the regulator is bad. I'm just gonna trash the whole thing. I'm going to replace the entire unit. So we're gonna get this out of the way. And these two lines over here are the lines that I disconnected. So this one goes on the top and this one goes on the bottom of the fuel pump assembly. So I'm gonna clean this surface, and after that, we're gonna install our new one. Okay, Mr. Sibyl. We're gonna remove this gasket. Now, you have to be careful not to drop anything in the tank as you clean the gasket groove.
So here is our brand new gasket. That's the part number. So just like that. And here is our new fuel pump assembly. So I'm going to install the new one now. So I'm gonna install this line first. Just like that. Now I'm, I'm gonna fish out the other line that's gonna go up here. Now you have to be careful as you do this. So just like that, this is how you install the new fuel sending unit. Now I'm making sure that our line over here is connected well. All right. So now we're going to install our ring. All right, so our new fuel pump assembly is installed. All right guys, we have installed the new fuel pump assembly. So now I am going to take the fuel tank to the vehicle and reinstall it. After I get the fuel tank installed to the vehicle, I'll bring you guys back up so we can verify our repair. I got the fuel tank back on the vehicle. Everything is put back together. We're good to go. So everything is reinstalled. So now let's lower the vehicle and start the engine. I still have my fuel pressure gauge connected to the fuel system. We have a new fuel pump installed in the tank. So now I'm gonna go inside the vehicle and start the engine. Let's see what kind of fuel pressure we're gonna have with the new pump. I'm gonna crank the engine. So right there, as you can see, the engine is running and our fuel gauge went up to, let's see, our fuel gauge went up to 60 PSI. So this is at idle. Right now there's a big difference from what we had before. Our fuel gauge is steady. 
Okay, it's above 55 PSI, so that's good. So now I'm gonna rev the engine. So as you can see, our fuel gauge is staying above 55 PSI. So this is good, guys. This is fixed, okay? Our fuel pressure system is fixed, and I'm sure now our fuel trim numbers are gonna get better. So now I'm going to get the fuel gauge disconnected from the fuel system because now we have no more fuel pressure in the system. So I'm going to turn off the engine. I'm gonna disconnect the fuel gauge and then I'm gonna connect the scan tool to the vehicle so we can look at the fuel trim numbers. After we look at the fuel trim numbers, then we're gonna wrap up this video. So I'm gonna get the scan tool connected and then I'll bring you guys back up. Now I'm gonna start the engine. So we're still in open loop. So we are in closed loop. Watch this. I haven't erased the trouble codes yet. Okay, we have minus 28% on short term bank one and long term bank one is positive 25%. So this number is definitely canceling this number out. And we have minus 22.5% on, on short term bank two. And we have 28, so positive 28% on long term. So if you take minus 20%, okay, out of 28.9%, so we have about 10%, on bank two so total trim on bank two right now is plus or minus 10 percent which is good which is a normal number okay so this is what i definitely want to see these numbers eventually are going to go down okay so this engine is no longer running lean this is fixed guys i love the numbers that i'm looking at okay So we have high positive numbers on the long term and we have high negative numbers on the short term. Okay, so this is good. This is fixed, guys. So let's see if the check engine light is still there. So check engine light is still there. I'm gonna have to erase the trouble codes. So let's back out. I'm gonna turn off the engine first. I'm gonna turn the key on. Let's go to clear emissions, data related. So this is gonna clear all the trouble codes in the engine computer. Okay, so the codes are cleared. Let's try to read the codes again. Right there, no codes present. All right, so this is fixed guys. Okay, I am going to start the engine. So as you can hear, the engine is running and the check engine light is erased. So this is fixed, guys. We are good to go, okay? So the problem on this vehicle was low fuel pressure. We replaced the fuel pump assembly. Now we're good. Okay, so we have high numbers on the short term high numbers on the long term. So this is gonna eventually clear out. All right, so this is fixed. I don't have to drive this. Um, I don't think I have to reset the fuel trim numbers. I can look into the OEM side of the tool to see if I have to reset the fuel trim numbers. But even if I don't do that, as the customer drives the vehicle, it's gonna do the relearn and those numbers on the long term will go down okay so this is fixed guys i feel comfortable giving this back to the customer so i'm gonna turn off the engine now let's wrap up this video all right guys i'm gonna leave this right over here this vehicle is fixed this vehicle had a defective fuel pump that was causing low fuel pressure in the system we have replaced the fuel pump and now it's fixed so i hope you like the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. 
If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.